Dear students and audience, Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Live with Hassan Akhtar. Students, our today's lesson is from class 7 and from unit number 1. Today, we will solve a few questions from review exercise 1. Let us proceed towards the first question today. It is question number 4 of exercise 1 that is the review exercise statement of the question write the following sets in the set builder form part number 1 set A having elements 5, 6, 7, 8 students you can see that the set is given in tabular form and we are to write its answer in set builder form so writing the answer as set of elements x such that x belong to n and 4 is less than x less than 9 we can see in set a given elements these are the natural numbers next we have part number two set b having elements 0 1 2 if we can look at the elements these are the elements of the set of whole numbers so writing the answer b is equal to set of elements x such that x belong to whole numbers and x is less than 3 hope you can easily understand next we have part number 3 set c is equal to a e i o u i hope you all are well familiar regarding these alphabets so writing the answer c is equal to set of elements x such that x is a vowel of the english alphabets next we have part number four of the same question statement of the question is d is equal to set of natural numbers greater than 100 writing the answer in set builder form we have set of elements x such that x belong to n and x is greater than 100 this is easy to understand next we have part number 5 e is equal to set of odd numbers greater than 1 and less than 10 our answer is set of elements x such that x belong to o and 1 is less than x is less than 10 we can also say that x is greater than 1 and x is less than 10. So this is the solution of question number 4. Hope you understand. We proceed next towards question number 5. Statement is write the following sets in descriptive and tabular form. This means that set will be given in the frame named as set builder form and we have to convert both in descriptive as well as tabular form. The students to answer the descriptive form shortly we will use the letters df for descriptive form and tf for the tabular form. So the descriptive form of part number one is set of whole numbers less than seven now for tabular form we use the short abbreviation tf it is 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 you have to take the elements within braces those are the whole numbers and are less than 7 next we have part number 2 statement of question b is a set of elements x such that x belong to e and 3 is less than x is less than 12 the students you all know that e stands for set of even numbers so our first option descriptive form the answer is set of even numbers greater than 3 and less than 12 very simple and easy to check from the given question part next we have tabular form we will write in tabular form even numbers those are greater than 3 and less than 12 i hope each and every one of you knows these are 4 6 8 10 next we have the next part of the same question that is part number 3 statement says c is set of elements of x such that x belong to z and minus 2 less than x less than plus 2 
ये स्टूडेंट्स यू ऑल नो जी इंडिकेट सेट ऑफ इंटीजर्स सो आर फर्स्ट डेस्क्रिप्टिव फॉर्म आंसर इज सेट ऑफ इंटीजर्स ग्रेटर देन माइनस टू एंड लेस देन टू नेक्स्ट वी हैव टेबुलर फॉर्म वी हैव द आंसर एज माइनस वन जीरो वन ये स्टूडेंट्स हेयर आर नंबर लाइन कैन हेल्प यू दैट हाउ यू कैन सी द वैल्यूज लाइंग बिटवीन माइनस टू एंड प्लस टू यू मे राइट रफली ड्रॉ द नंबर लाइन दैट कंटेन्स द नंबर्स ऑल काइंड ऑफ इंटीजर्स लाइक जीरो प्लस वन प्लस टू प्लस थ्री टू वर्ड्स राइट ऑफ जीरो एंड माइनस वन माइनस टू माइनस थ्री टू वर्ड्स लेफ्ट ऑफ जीरो Part number four, we have set of elements x such that x belong to P and x is less than fifteen. I hope you all know P stand for set of prime numbers here. Our first answer of descriptive form is set of prime numbers less than fifteen. Writing the prime numbers less than fifteen in tabular form, we have the elements two, three, five, seven, eleven, thirteen. Just to remind you that prime numbers are those numbers which are divisible by any two numbers. In other words, a prime number has two divisors. Hope you understand. Next, in the exercise, we have question number six. Statement of the question is: If set A contains elements three, four, five, six, and set B has elements two, four, six. Then verify that part number one a union b is equal to b union b union a. Part number two is a intersection b is equal to b intersection a. These are called commutative property of union and commutative property of intersection respectively. Starting the part one solution, left hand side is equal to a union b. Taking the union of two sets A and B, we can write three, four, five, six. Union two, four, six. Dear students, you all know while taking the union, we need to take all the elements, and the elements are written in two sets. We write them single time, so our answer becomes two, three, four, five, six. We give our answer as number one, as mentioned with the arrow. Next, we have right hand side that is B union A. Taking the union of both the sets set B and set A, combining all the elements both present in both the sets will be written only single time. So our answer becomes two, three, four, five, six. We give this answer as answer number two, indicated by the arrow. Looking at both one and two, we are clear that both are equal. So from one and two, verify that A union B is equal to B union A. Hope you understand this easy sort of question. Next, we have the second part solution on the next slide of the same question number six. Here we have to show the commutative property of intersection. Starting the answer, left hand side is equal to a intersection b. We take the intersection of the two sets. You know the definition. We have to take the only common elements. You can see simply that only element four and six are common, so our answer of left hand side becomes four six. We give at number one. Right hand side we have B intersection A. Taking the intersection again, both the sets. Now the order is changed. Set B comes first and set A comes later. Again, four and six are the only two common elements, so our answer becomes four six. We mention the answer by number two. It is well clear that one and two are exactly same. So from one and two, verify that A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. The students in exam question may be asked like verify the commutative property for union for part number one and verify the commutative property of intersection for part number two. Hope you enjoyed this easy sort of questions today. Thank you very much. Have a very nice time. See you soon with the next. Inshallah, have a nice time.